Okay, so we've just made our way into our first dungeon, and I have uh, no idea what's here. I have not played this game before. I have not looked at any of the uh, the cheats. Um, I'm not even sure if there are any um, available yet. Halls of the Dead. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I can uh, I can work my way through this without my guys dying too many times. Um, I wonder if I can take these torches. Oh, I can. Beautiful. Um, let's give one of these torches to this guy here to listen he can still cast magic can he yes he can beautiful okay so we'll get these guys ready um, looks like we have a few ways to go I can go into the halls of the dead or I can go over in this direction here I see something shining over there is that somebody's there could be a key over there so let's go and pick that up um, hopefully it is a key and I'm not going to get absolutely hammered in here um, but yeah, we'll just see how we go. So we've got another scroll here. Scroll of Shock. Beautiful. And we've got another healing potion. I might give that to the Minotaur. Now, what I did want to do um, was um, set up these guys' second hands. As you can see, they do have a, a second hand here. So I might put the healing potion um, in the second hand just for a quick... Um, just for a quick change here. So um, I thought the Rattling had a couple of healing potions on him. Oh, there we go. He's got... Can I... There we go. I'm going to grab one there. I'll give one to the other guys as well. And let's do it in hand number two there. There we go. And, okay, we're still missing one uh, potion for Star Mist, but that should be okay. She's at the back, so hopefully she won't, uh, won't get damaged too much. Okay, so we have the Scroll of Shock. Let's have a look at this. It requires Air Magic 1. Conjures a blast of electricity. Okay, I know that one already. I'll give that to Lissa. That's uh, that's his spell that he uses, the, uh, the the shock. Blast of electricity. And we have some lockpicks as well. Um, yeah, I, I suppose it's dexterity that you need for lock lockpicking, isn't that? Um, I don't really have a thief. We've got dexterity 14 here. So let's have a look and see. Dexterity 10, dexterity 15, dexterity 14. So we might give these, uh, these lockpicks to Stinky the Rattling um, because he has the, the best dexterity and I think that's what you need uh, for lock picking. but I suppose we'll find out. Um, let's put these hands back on number one there um, just so that these guys can actually attack and we're going to head into the Halls of the Dead. I'm a little bit scared about this. Halls of the Dead, here we go. I, I assume there's going to be some skeletons or some mummies or something like that uh, floating around here. Um, it's always... It's always a little bit scary. I am looking for buttons on the walls. I know in these games there are often little clues on the walls. Little b oh, 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 check out that guy. He is nasty. Okay, let's... Let's uh, see if we can take this guy out. Um, he's, he looks pretty scary, just the way he walks. It's classic. Ah! Um, press the wrong button there. Oh, gosh, he hits pretty hard as well. Um, no, we don't know that spell. Let's do another electric shot and another fireball. There we go. Looks like... Okay, we've got Stinky Gain Strength 1. Beautiful. And we've got another little mummy out here. Um, they're easiest to take out with. They, they look so funny the way they walk. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh, poor guy. Um, he's probably been sitting down here for centuries. Uh, let's... We've got some... I really need to get uh, Grimjaw a proper weapon. He's still hitting people with his um. Ow! He's still hitting people with uh, with his bone there. Um, but I do like the way in this game when you run over the weapons that you throw, you automatically pick them up, which is pretty cool. Um, just make sure nobody else is around here, and we'll pick this up. I'll give it to uh, to Grimjaw because he's he's the biggest dude out here. Oh, we got a f we got a flintlock firearm, damage seven to twenty one. Awesome. And we got some pallets with that as well. So that's really awesome. We can give someone the firearm skill. Probably going to be um, Rattling, Stinky, the Alchemist, once um, I can put him on the back line. I'm still waiting for Lissa to get a staff so that he can actually attack. Um, I'm going to give this to Rattling as well because he needs all the protection he, he can get um, on the front line there. Um, see if there's anything else around here. Any secrets in here? I'm sure there's going to be at least a few secrets around here. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll find them and won't miss them. Um, as I said before, I have not looked at any maps or anything like that, so I'm just winging it. And what do we have here? Why did that just... Uh, 
Is that, the, is that where I came in? No, it's a different set of stairs. Okay, so we've got a different set of stairs opened up. Um, shall I go up there now? I might just... I might just wait. Um, I should pro probably put a little note here tell me to uh, explore this area there. Okay, just to remember to explore that area there, just in case I forget which stairs I came up and uh, down from. And anything in here, sometimes there's uh, things hidden in the drains as well. Uh, I can't see anything at the moment. And we have another little button here. Um, I wonder if I should go up those stairs. Maybe it's just a small room up there. Um, it, it could be, but uh, anything else around here? No. Okay, what does that do? There's a, there's a hole in the wall. Okay, this is... Okay, if I if I put a little um, rock on there, then push the button, and that should keep it up. Beautiful. Um, okay, I'm going to grab this as well. Grab all the torches I can. Um, I think I might just head up this, these stairs first. I think it may just be a single little room. Um, I don't want to get kind of too lost down... Oh my goodness. Okay, we're back at the beach now. Back at a different area of the beach. Secret found. Okay, so this is probably not going to be a big, bigger area. Um, so yeah, we'll take out this, uh, this little turtle guy. This little... Dangerous, dangerous turtle. The first characters that we met were these little turtles, and they do drop a lot of food, which is really cool too. So, um, looks like we've got one more here. We've got a few plants around the place here. This guy's just chilling out in the, in the ocean there. Uh, we'll take him out and try to get to the side of him so he doesn't, doesn't uh, hurt me too much. I, don't, I do want to check out this uh, the poison cloud as well and see what that does and see if that hurts these guys. Um, so, I'll use this, wait for him to. Uh, there we go, poison cloud, but he doesn't stay there, we have to keep him there. I suppose if we're using the poison, we do need to um, to push him there and uh, hold him there, so he keeps getting attacked, or damaged at least, by that poison. So, um, I do need to level up my guys as well, let's just have a look and see if there's anything else in this, uh, this secret area over here. Uh, we did find one herb. I don't have any uh, instructions for the herbs at the moment, so I do need to, hopefully I'll find some clues about how to do that. And quite often these plants are kind of halfway in the ocean as well, so there's more etherweed there. And of course, Stinky is an alchemist, so the, the herbs should theoretically grow in his... Um, oh, have we got a new one? I think we've got a new one here, a new one grew. Beautiful. So yeah, they should continue to grow. We have grown a few herbs already, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's keep on going over here, and we've got another chest locked. Um, Shall I try to open it with the lock picks? There we go, it worked. Well, that wasn't too hard. Um, okay, we've got another healing potion. I'm going to give that to Star Mist. And we have a Thralm Tribal Mask. Um, I don't know what that's all about. Protection plus three, energy plus five, evasion minus five without light armor proficiency. So they're going to lose evasion, but energy plus five. So, um, I may give that to one of the wizards then, but they get they need light armor proficiency, so um, it's going to be interesting. I'm just going to keep it there for now. I'm going to level these guys up now. Um, I could I definitely want someone using the the um, the rapier, so I might give Grimjaw just the basic light weapon skill. Um, so let's go over skills here. Let's give these guys some uh, some points and level them up while we're in a, a kind of a safe area here. I am going to give him light weapons, yes, um, so that he can actually uh, use the rapier and hit with that, which does hit for 4 to 13 plus strength, and he's pretty strong as well, so it should do a lot more damage than this silly bone club he's been using. Um, so we're going to uh, level up Rattling as well. Um, we're going to give him... Mm, what should we do? I might give him firearms just to check out this, uh, this gun that we've got here. So... Um, yeah, I am going to give him the gun to, uh, to check it out, and he only gets 20 shots though, unfortunately. Um, and I'll put the knife in his other hand. So he'll have the gun in one hand and the knife in the other hand with the throwing knives as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Now we can also level up Lissa, who is a battle mage um, skills. He's got air magic and he's got 
armor. Um, I may give him... What should we give this guy? Um, increase the damage of air spells by 20% for each skill point. Fifth level skill, you gain resistance shock. I may give him... Um, um, air magic again, uh, just to make his spell more powerful. Now I'm just thinking he does have armor proficiency, so we're going to have a look at the Thralm Travel Mask. Um, he shouldn't get the the negative of evasion minus five because he does have armor proficiency. So let's see if this actually works. We're going to put that on. Uh, that's pretty scary. Um, the stats are... Uh, where's protection stat? Where's the protection stats? Traits, skills, Stats, damage, accuracy, crit critical. Um, okay, so hopefully that ev uh, evasion minus five isn't actually. Oh no, it is. It is doing. It is taking it down. Okay, the evasion and protection is up here. Uh, so he gets protection three and evasion minus one. But I thought he had the armor skill without light armor proficiency. Um, so let's have a look at skills. I don't see a light armor proficiency here. Oh, at second level. Okay, so he needs another skill level to, prof to be proficient with a light armor. Now, as far as I'm aware, battle mages can wear um, light armor and still do all of their spells, and it shouldn't affect them uh, in any way. So hopefully that's going to be okay. If I level him up in armor, he can wear that uh, funny mask and uh, not have any negatives uh, associated with that. So let's... What do we got down here? We got another guy. Let's, let's check this out. Oh, no, ammo. Um... Okay, that's interesting. Let's get this fireball going. Fizzle. Oh, you did the wrong one there. Okay, let's get this going. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to work out how to load that, uh, that gun of his. There we go. Do these guys drop anything? I don't think they do. Okay, so we got the gun here. Um, how do we, how do we... Or maybe he needs it in the other hand there. Is that how it works? Um, okay, so we're going to try that. And um, I think that's how it works. We need to keep the, the ammo bucket open there. Uh, let's see where we're going here. Now we are going to head across here. This little uh, little secret that we found. Is there anything in there? No. Um, yeah, okay. So so we're going okay, I think. Our guys haven't... Uh, Got, got themselves into too much trouble at the moment uh, in this episode anyway hopefully we can uh, keep this up uh, we found an iron key beautiful I wonder if that's the main thing that we were looking for in this uh, this dungeon down here I'm um, just gonna move along fairly fast um, okay this is I think this is where we need to use the key so we've got an iron key we do have a gold key which is for up the top um, we got some nasty characters here so let's uh, get our spells ready uh, we're just going to whack them. As soon as they come through this point here, we're just going to hit them with everything that we've got. Missed. He missed. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's let's check this out. Missed again. Okay. This is not going so well with the, uh, the gun there. Um, I would have thought these guys were... He keeps missing with this uh, this gun. There's got to be a better way to do it. He does have the skill of it, right? He's got um, firearm skill. Um, and there's a range for it as well. I think there's a range for the firearm. So let me just check this out. Oh, it has a range of 3. Damage 7 to 21. So it does quite a bit of damage. Um, so it should be a fairly good uh, weapon to have. But unfortunately, he's just... He can't even hit a slow mummy at the moment. So hopefully he's going to get a bit better with his firearm. Uh, we've got some more... What is this? Oh, it's a horn. Okay, I know what this is for. The Horn of Summoning. We'll give this to uh, to Grimjaw. This is for the calling the Guardians up the top. So, uh, looks like we found the weapon. Not the weapon, sorry. The item to call uh, the Guardians. Are there any more um, secrets around here? I'm not sure. I probably lost a... F I probably forgot to pick up all of the torches, didn't I? But... Uh, we have a few, so that should do us for now. Hopefully we're not going to run out of torches. I'm not sure. Um, how this game is going to play out. Hint, drag a character portrait with mouse to change party formation. Yes, I know that. Okay, so we have come to a new spot. 
Um, here we have the Guardian calling spot up to the north there. Uh, we are still in Shipwreck Beach. Um, yeah, so let's explore this uh, this new area here. We've got a little cave here. I suppose I don't need to rest my guys. I think they're all okay. Do they need any food? I think they're all good for food. Let's have a look. Three, four. Yeah, they're all good for food. So we'll, we'll just keep going um, throughout the night. And we've got a little button there. And I'm a little bit suspicious of buttons in the middle of nowhere because I have a funny feeling this could, could get us into trouble. So let's get our spells ready. Um, here we go. Okay, is this going to take us back? Oh, it's just going to take us back um, to this area here, which is pretty cool. So it does take us back to the um, to the crystal of life there. So we are ready to uh, summon the guardians, whoever they are. Um, not quite sure who these guardians are, but I suppose we will um, summon them and see what happens. You ready for this, guys? <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, actually. I'm going to actually just save my game quickly. Okay, so I've just saved the game, and I suppose Grimjaw is going to call the Guardians. Viper Roots. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, me. Oh my goodness, okay. Where is he, where is he coming from? Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, no, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Quick, quick, take these guys out. Take them out, take them out. Oh, I've got one, got one. Oh, no. Oh, rattling. Let's uh, let's change these two over and uh, see if I can save the rattling. Um, throw a rock at him. <laughs> see if that's going to work. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Take this guy out. Out of energy. Hey, come on, Grimjaw. You can do it. Critical 42. Um, we need more energy. Okay, where's he gonna come up? Where is he gonna come up? Oh, quick, quick, take him out. Oh, poison. No, no. My guys are almost dead. Whew. This is nasty. Where's he gonna come up? Where's he gonna... Oh, just get out of the way then. Out of energy. My, my wizards are out of energy. Oh, this is bad. I, he does have a... Quick, quick, quick. Let's, um... Let's uh, let's heal up, guys. Heal up. Okay, I forgot. I completely forgot about my uh, my healing potions. So I am gonna heal up here. Luckily. Um. Okay, I think we're almost done. We've almost taken this guy out completely. Um. Whew. I think we're doing all right. I think we're gonna take this guy out. He's only got a little bit left. Um, one more hit, one or two more hits, and uh, that will do it. Luckily, we had... Whew, we did it. We've done it. What's this little green thing here? Power gem. Beautiful. What's a power gem do? A beautiful gem that radiates light in all the colors of the spectrum. Awesome. Okay, so we have... Oh, my goodness. We have uh, taken out the Guardian. The first challenge is complete. Um, and the door is now open, which is absolutely fantastic. So we can head on uh, through there and uh, continue on with this game. But we also have the key to this door over here. So I'm going to open up this door and uh, we'll find out what's inside.